the early 1960s, Joe Namath, Alabama's quarterback, seemed as much made for movie stardom as for football. You know, Alabama's a real conservative state, and uh, old farm boys back in that days with the uh, crew cuts, and he had this uh, kind of swarthy, handsome movie star look, and he was uh, he was different, to say the least. We got this skinny kid from Beaver Falls as our quarterback, and it's obvious real quick that he was going to be exceptional. When he came to Alabama, he could run, he could jump, dunk a basketball. See, and that's unheard of, really, back in... In, in, in those times, so he was just a great athlete. Namath had a turbulent career at Alabama. Paul Bear Bryant suspended his star quarterback for the final two games of his junior season. I think he was riding down the, the road by the sorority road, and they rode up on the lawn of one of the sorority houses, and they had just got through sodding that lawn. That's probably where he got in trouble, and Coach Bryant kind of disciplined for that. Back the following season as a senior starter, Namath tore up his knee in the fourth game of the season. His Alabama career appeared to be in jeopardy. Despite losing Namath, Alabama rolled to a perfect 10-0 season. The Crimson Tide accepted a bid to play Texas in the Orange Bowl on New Year's 1965. The first game ever to be played and televised at night. NBC's decision to air the 1965 Orange Bowl game in prime time was a milestone in, in sports television history. It predated the Super Bowl, and in fact, there hadn't even been a nighttime World Series baseball game up to that time. And they had a record audience and a record crowd. Fortunately, they picked maybe one of the greatest matchups in history. He had Bear Bryant on one sideline and Daryl Royal on the other. And here they were competing in a classic, which uh, that game truly was. Namus knee was so heavily taped, he was deemed immobile and unready to play. He always prepared to play, but I don't think he really expected to play. If something happened, then he would go in and be ready to play. Hi, everyone, and a very pleasant welcome to Miami for the playing of the 31st Orange Bowl game, the Crimson Tide of Paul Bear Bryant, the number one college team in the land, against Coach Darrell Royals, Texas Longhorns, the team that was number one last year and number four this season. Steve Sloan, who finished the season at quarterback for Alabama, started the game. And they started the reserve quarterback, and we were blitzing him with success handling it real well. Texas scored twice on Alabama in the first 20 minutes of play to take a 14 to zero lead. At the 30, the 20, the 10, and he's over! Alabama was a couple of touchdowns behind and looking woeful. Looking to throw, great protection. That's right at the 15, the 10, the 5, he's in the end zone! Hoping to rally the tide in the second quarter, Bear took a chance on his hobbled star. Joe Namath, the great quarterback of the University of Alabama. Sometimes you bring in somebody else, you get a big lift. Uh, that gave the team a really big lift. Of course, you can bring somebody in with that talent. You know, that it's nice to have a backup with that type of ability. Namath entered the game. He drove the Crimson Tide 87 yards, 14 plays for a touchdown that cut the Longhorns' lead in half. Every time we'd blitz, he'd dump it to somebody. We'd blitz again, he'd dump it to somebody. It looked like they were going to score every damn play. Namath put the tide in motion. In the third quarter, he rifled a 20-yard touchdown pass to flanker Ray Perkins, cutting the Longhorns' lead to 21-14. to I think we were ready to and confident until the last bell rung that, uh, that we were going to pull it out. Down by four in the fourth quarter, Namath connected on a series of passes and drove his team to the six-yard line for first and goal. Fullback Steve Bowman hit the Texas line three straight times. Doesn't look like he made it. Fourth down and a yard to go. Joe came to the sideline to find out what play we wanted to run. And nobody had a real good answer. And then finally, he said, well, just to take it in. Joe Namath 
Jones is trying to quarterback sneak. Did he get it over there? No signal is yet. He's right at the goal line. Texas had this great middle linebacker named Tommy Nobis. And uh, he anticipated what Joe was going to do. So as Joe began to take his fault over the line, Tommy was doing the same thing. I don't believe Our Texas man it. says no. Our Alabama man is nodding his head yes. He wound up in the end zone and said at the time that uh, one of the officials called it a touchdown. But the referee, quote, overruled. There has been no signal. It is not a touchdown. Texas has that football on a brilliant goal line stand. Well, it was very close. You know, it could have been called either way. There's no doubt about it, and I've told people that. And I personally did not think his initial surge made it across. Joe was crawling on the elbows and stuff, but we feel like we stopped him. We claim he missed it by about like that. Namath's brilliant comeback had fallen short. But the 21-17 Texas upset win over Alabama will long be remembered as the night that both Joe Namath and the Orange Bowl hit the big time.